It's Monday, June 5th, 2023. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3. Good Lord! Tell me how in God's name you can introduce a gender-neutral bathroom in secret in Barbados. That's Prime Minister Mia Motley. She was speaking at a Barbados Labour Party meeting last evening at which she chided the media for not fact-checking last week's allegation of new gender-neutral signs in bathrooms at a local school. The Democratic Labour Party also had a public meeting last night. Party President Dr. Ronnie Yearwood knocked government's education reform plan. And he said this too. We don't have to take everything for the international community. We can choose what aligns with us and how we want to develop our children and the standards and values that are good for us. Chairman of the Barbados Private Sector Association, Trisha Tanis, anticipates that it's going to be tough to get a new food prices compact in Barbados. The current one expires in three weeks' time. World oil prices could have a bearing on what happens in this regard. And those prices have risen after Saudi Arabia said it would make cuts of a million barrels per day in July. Other members of OPEC Plus, a group of oil producing countries, also agreed to continued cuts in production in an attempt to shore up flagging prices. Trinidad and Tobago has recorded 242 murders so far this year, down to the end of May. And its National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines is of the view that too many people are being killed for petty reasons. I know a fellow got shot in my constituency, the constituency I'm over, for $250. He said that many of the killings are gang-related as well. Gang-related so far for the year, 114. There was another killing in St. Lucia last night. A man is dead and a woman is nursing gunshot injuries after being shot by gunmen in the area known as Babano. And in Antigua, a man was shot in the head last night while another was hospitalized in another shooting incident. Jamaica police are trying to find a man who posted a TikTok video yesterday morning in which he threatened to blow up a gas station unless he got $20 million. We are advising the public that to post videos of this nature to create the kind of public fear and meme that exists right now is not in the interest of public order. Haiti is reported to be seeing a wave of brutal vigilante justice concentrated in the capital. New Zealander Hayden Patton has taken the title of First Citizens King of the Hill in Barbados this weekend, edging out Dayan Skeet. Today's weather forecast, partly sunny, with a few brief isolated light showers. We're also told that a layer of slight dust haze will be visible across the island. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3.